Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's general guidance message for the upcoming week. If you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And at the end of these messages, I pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. So be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. The energy surrounding you, Virgo, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Challenge here, the King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Wands. The outcome is the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands, so... You're at a crossroad. Decisions, decisions. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made in regards to staying or going. Now the energy surrounding you, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords. These cards that I'm pulling out down here, guys, are your advice. So we'll pull that over at the end. Anyways. The Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords. So this is like somebody trying to get your attention, wanting to take a relationship to the next level, but you having your wall up for whatever reason. Now, whatever reason is, Virgo, the challenge here, the reason. In the past, this person had you competing for their time, attention, energy. And for whatever reason, you let this person back in your life. Maybe they came back in, told you that everything was going to be okay, like they were going to do the right thing. And you're worried that this person is going to do the same thing that they did in the past. So this has you in this state of do I stay or do I go? It's like one foot in, one foot out. Eventually, Virgo, you're going to have to make a decision because if you stay in this energy, it's going to have a tendency to repeat the same cycle over again. That's why the magician is here. It's like the energy that you focus on. What you focus on is going to return. So where the energy flows, where the attention flows, the energy goes. And what does that mean? So if you're focusing on like the negative things that could potentially happen between you and this person, more of that is going to come. It's going to show right back up because that's manifestation 101. Where you focus your energy and attention, it's, you're going to get more of that. The reason you feel like you are questioning this is valid, okay? This person has shown you in the past that they will run off. Clarify this Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords. King of Swords with the Four of Swords in reverse. So, trying to look at the situation very clearly, very practically, but you really didn't give this the appropriate amount of time to heal. There needs to be a conversation between you and this person, but will this person be open to that? Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Wands. Because if there is no trust, then this isn't going to work moving forward. Okay, there's always going to be this questioning, this doubt, either in your mind or your person's mind. That Ace of Swords is like 
being honest and speaking your truth. So if you feel like things haven't changed and that needs to be addressed and why the outcome, we see the eight of cups, the four of cups. Do I stay? Do I hold off? Do I wait or do I walk away? You feel an intense connection with this person, but are you and this person going to be able to work together to find a common ground? But I will say if you stay in this four of swords energy too long, what comes after the four of are the four of cups energy too long? What comes after the four of cups is the five of cups. Okay, and the five of cups is resentment. It's holding on to the past. So you don't want to stay in this energy too long. And that's why I say you need to have a conversation with your person. Are you guys going to be able to overcome these challenges together? Or are you going to need to move forward and walk away? the longer you hold on and stay in this four of cups energy the closer you get to it spilling over into resentment so virgo let's pull over your advice guidance moving forward thank you guys again for all the love and the support of the three of swords here again The three of swords with the seven of cups. So you feel like there's options or your person is exploring options. You're ready to explore your options. The nine of cups in the chariot is like you're focusing on the things that are bringing you joy, that are bringing you abundance, that are making you feel uplifted, making you feel happy. This betrayal energy is coming out strong. You feel betrayed in this situation. And it's hard to overcome that without properly getting closure. So we have to see, you know, are you and this person able to get on the same page? If you're not, then having that conversation doesn't hurt because you're also able to get closure. Does it make sense? Again, at a crossroads, you have a decision to make here, Virgo. A very big decision at that. So let's pull out the pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Be sure to hold the question in your mind. Give you a second. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? that's a yes that is a yes Virgo soul truth message what am I most afraid of losing as we grow change and transform our lives it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be if you were to take the big leap today, what would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Today's soul action, name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I'm powerful beyond measure. I'm loved, I am safe, and I belong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.